everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. So as I promised yesterday, I have a really fun tutorial to show you how to make this tent fold card using acetate. I just thought it was gonna work perfectly for this lovely stamp and die set, which is part of the new Father Christmas collection. So I did share these ones yesterday and this was the one that I made. So if any of you missed that tutorial, I will link that up here. It's beautiful. It's a really nice little pop-up box card using one of the stamp and die sets. And then I'm actually gonna be using the same stamp and die set to make this one, but I just thought it's such a different style. I've shared similar before, but I haven't added this piece here, which is, it kind of acts like a stopper because the acetates aren't always as strong as the original cardstock that would have been in place. So yeah, I just think it's quite a nice way to put it together, but I thought it worked perfectly with this stamp and die set because it does really look like Santa is flying above the houses there. Again, these were the other two that I showed yesterday. I won't show you how to make these. They're pretty, you know, self-explanatory. This is using the embossing folder that comes in the lovely collection along again with that stamp set there. And then this one here is an easel card. I've made many of these on the channel, but I've used that lovely Santa and you can see there I've done some decoupage and this is actually an embossing folder on the back. So it's all textured. And uh, yeah, I've just colored that using my watercolor pencils. So this one today was using watercolor pencils. So I'm gonna pop all that to one side. The one I've seem to be using a lot of is this one here. I just I love the chimney rooftop and everything. I just think it's really, really lovely. So yeah, all of that will be linked below as normal. Then I am using some acetate here. This is Crafter's Companion. So this is a piece of six by six acetate. So the whole card will fold down to a six by six card. Okay, and then that just pops up straight away and it will stand. Okay, to make the actual card itself, I have a piece here, which is nine and a half by six. Okay, and then you want to score along the nine and a half side, you want to score at one inch, seven inches, then flip it over and score at eight inches, and then flip it back over again and score at nine inches. Just by flipping it over, that will just help us fold it because it's like a concertina fold and it just means you won't get any cracking. Okay, so that's all the scoring you need, there's not much. So, the first score line, this one inch one, you want to fold, and I'm just going to Burnish that one. Okay, then this will now be, so this is going to become the front. Okay, this is this piece here. So that's the front. So this is the back, which is going to fold up, and it will do because we've, we've scored it the right way. The next score line will come down, creating a mountain. And then that last one will come up, creating a valley. You should have that on the bottom. Okay, so that on the top, that on the bottom. This is what we're going to stick our acetate to and then eventually we're going to stick the houses over the top. Now I've just realised I need to do a couple more there so I'll do all that in a moment. So basically then this piece of acetate will go underneath this one and over the top of this one and it should sit perfectly. If we get anything overhanging we can always trim it off. So before we do that I've got this piece here which again is six by six and that will sit perfectly within there. But you might want to trim a little bit off because now we've folded these pieces over, this kind of score line on the top and bottom actually kind of stops that sitting nice and flush. So I am going to just take, it's kind of like that sixteenth of an inch, it's that tiny little bit. You just want to take a slither off the bottom. You can see there what I've just taken off. And that now should just help this piece sit within, no, a little bit more actually. You'll feel it because you'll feel the tension. So it probably ends up being about one eighth of an inch actually now. You wanna be able to fold that up and fold that down. See where that's causing an arch? That means it's still too big. So, <laughs> now, there we go, that's better. You see there where it all folds flat? That's what you want. Okay, so do check that before doing anything else. So I'm now gonna get that stuck down. Okay, so that's that done. Then I'm going to stick the moon down before we put the acetate on because this is obviously all underneath the acetate. So I'm going to do, let's have that, check where I've done that. Yeah, it was below it. So let's have that one there. There we go. Okay. And then what you want to do is we're going to run some tape along the bottom of this one here. So I'm just going to use my half inch, this is my scotch tape, so it's nice and strong. So I'm just running that along the bottom. 
And then on the inside of this one, I'm just going to run a couple of strips. Okay, and then I've got my acetate, make sure it's all nice and clean. This is brand new, so it should be fine. I'm going to stick it in, and you want to push it up to the score line, okay? Or well, kind of where this coloured pattern paper is, whatever you've done, and bring this over. Make sure it's lined up perfectly either side here, which mine is, and bring that over. Okay, so now that's attached. Then, take the backing off of this bottom piece here. So you're only sticking it to that short little tab there. Make sure nothing's stuck to this inside piece. You could have, you might have flowers kind of covering the bottom of this and some lovely, you know, flowers floating on the front. There's so many different things you can use for this. Now you do want to keep this completely flat so you might find, I just bring in this just to keep that pushed down. Kind of roll your hand along with the acetate and you just want to make sure that it all sticks down at the same time. The whole thing needs to be completely flat. And this is when you'll see if you've got any overhang. And it's best to do the top, work your way down, because now, can you see I've got some acetate overhanging? Just flip the card over. And I can just go in here now with my scissors and just cut really neatly. And we're gonna be covering this. My little houses are gonna go along this. Just wanna keep everything nice and neat. There we go. And then when you fold that out, it will stand up perfectly and you've got this really fun tent fold style card. But that's now ready for you to just decorate with whatever it is you want. But again, I'm working with the Father Christmas. I think he's so much fun. I love how he's floating across there. And then I'm just gonna stick the houses. So I'm gonna go and just draw another one of them. And I'm also gonna go and, actually I can quickly do this bit while we're here before we go. So this was a piece of one by six and this is just going to go perfectly over the top of that. I just wanted it for me to just completely look like it's all part of this same background. But you might not even need to do that. You might want to put your sentiment directly onto this here. I am kind of thinking about doing it slightly different and maybe die cutting the ho 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 in this and sticking it directly onto that in blue rather than the silver. But I do love the silver. So now I'm kind of debating what to do. We'll see. I'm going to go and get all that ready and then I shall be back. Okay, so I've done that one again. I went and re-stamped it. I've done it three times because there's two houses on this stamp. It was easier to do it again than to actually try and attach two extra to that. So yeah, I really like it. It's really nice, easy to colour and easy to join up. And if you're slightly off, you can just kind of get a thin black pen, like I said before. So now I want to cut this down so it's six inches wide so you can see here the way I've done it I went half down two of the houses so there's four whole houses there and then just the little halves each side but depending on what you're using like I said you might have flowers kind of coming up here and you might have like the leaves and things like that it's you know there's lots of ways to decorate this so I'm just gonna pop this in this way first so one two three four so I kind of if I just go down half do that one first I'm going to fussy cut all along the top, but I do just want to make sure I get this all straight. So now, six inches. Perfect. And then, it's entirely up to you how tall you have it. You want it to be more than the half inch that you have of that, because you want it to cover it. That one there, you can see, is a little bit shorter than this one. So I think, I mean, I went right underneath the window for this one, but I think I'm going to just go up a little bit higher, just purely because I've coloured down a bit further. So you can see there, yeah, I think that still looked really good. So now I'm going to go and just carefully just fussy cut along the rooftops there. Okay, so I've got my Santa ready and I've popped some foam on the back of him. Trimmed all that down and fussy cut the top and I'll pop some double-sided tape on the back of that one. And then I've gone ahead and die cut the ho-ho-ho and I've just popped some of my double-sided sticky sheet on the back of the silver mirrored cardstock. Put your die on top, run it through, and then when you take this off, mine always stays inside the die, that's fine. But basically all the backing on this has all come away, most of it. I just need to knock out the centres of the O's there. There we go. And I should, yeah, all the backing has come off of all of that. And then what I'm going to try and do actually is just lay this down. And I could probably stick some of them, well, if not all of them, because it's a sticker now already. If I lay that on there, 
push it down quite firm, but I should be able to push out and stick it down through the die. Like so, but if I lift this off, you can see when it hasn't gone out, so let's just push that down a bit more. No, see the H, see all the H's have, <laughs> and some of the exclamation, which I didn't even touch. So I'm just going to lift that one off carefully, pop that there, because I need to put the zero, the O's down first. So the H's are perfect, for some reason these don't want to come out as well. So I'm going to have to, that's one way to use it, like that. Let me grab my tweezers, and I'm just going to pop this in next to each one. Oh, I know why. <laughs> the backing's still on these. How funny is that? I thought it would come off and not sticky on the back. So there, it would have come through, but the backing was still on there, so I'll just take the backing off the other ones in a second. So I'm going to pop that one there. Ah, doesn't it look great? Really, really like that. So definitely use the double-sided tape, um, as I mentioned yesterday, with the holographic because it's uh, just much, much easier. So now I'm going to pop this one down first because then it's easier to place Santa on his reindeer. Okay, so I'm going to make sure I get this right on the bottom. And again, if you do have anything overhanging, I've got a little bit there. I'm just going to go in, always go in from behind, and it's easier to see and follow against the, the side. There we go. Doesn't that look really cool? <laughs> and then just take the backing off of this. And then I'm going to have it like that. Again, I want him on an angle so it looks like he's just taken off from one of the rooftops. There you have it. I think it is just such a lovely card. You've got all that room on the back. As again, I said mentioned yesterday, you could stamp the image again on the back here and you've got, you know, to and from. You've got other stamps that come with the set here. So I may well stamp Jingle all the way on the back. And um, you've got the footprints there. Actually, I think those footprints would look really nice. Just maybe stamped along the bottom here. So again, you'll see that in the photos because I'll probably do that because I can still stamp on the back of that. It's quite easy. All I might do is do a mat and a layer and then I can st and use those instead. But yeah, really, really like it. So there's the other one. So that one's a little bit darker with the blending there with the, the navy in the background. And that one's a little bit lighter, but they still, I think, look really, really nice. Okay, so there are my cards. I absolutely love them. I just adore the Father Christmas. I think it's so much fun. I've thoroughly enjoyed playing around with this, and I will definitely be making some more. Again, just bring that one up there just so you can see the detail. All that decoupage layered look there. And there is texture to this. You can't see it so much in the, in the video, but it is really nice in person. And again there with that one with that lovely embossing folder on the back there and the jingle all the way. And this one, if you did miss it, like I said, I will link it up here and go and check that one out. But yeah, I love the tent style. I think it's a really, really fun card. So I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed yesterday's if you saw that one as well. And uh, yeah, please give me a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel so you get to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.